Let's talk about the misconception of Ray Ray and Pookie. This is a classification for a certain type of guy, much like the rapper, drug dealer, or athlete, when in reality, the bad behaviors are not exclusive to just those types of men. It happens with the military guy, the lawyer, the doctor, the guy with the PhD, the guy with the great reputation. It's not an isolated incident. Honestly, my biggest issue with the term Pookie, Pookie and Ray Ray is such a way to dismiss um, a lot of our brothers that are in the hood that, you know, may not know any better. They haven't seen any better. They're only doing what they know. And instead of trying to influence them to be better, instead of reaching out a helping hand, instead of mentoring some of the youth who might end up becoming Pookie and Ray Ray and, and uh, turn them into a black, black god instead of mentoring them into black godhood, we will sit here and rag on them, especially so-called established brothers. My thing is, I want us to step out of you know, giving ourselves degrading names and stop categor categorizing us um, by these terms that white people really have given us. And let's start actively changing the narrative in our community. We know what a lot of these issues are, but how many of us are actively involved in community uh, work, uh, actively involved in the lives of the youth, actively doing something to help enhance the quality of life for the children that will one day be the adults you know like let's stop talking so much shit and let's be about our shit you know what i'm saying that's my problem with that pookie and ray ray shit it's a quick way to dismiss our people i'm fixing you up i'm paying all the wait, wait, i'm paying all the bills i'm fixing you up i'm getting you out the gutter i'm clean i'm fixing your teeth i done got you but veneers. now you're making it sound Not like, it's a, like it's a favor right. it's, like, it's the intention behind it too right. it's the intention exactly. i'm gonna say this i'm gonna say this I mean, uh, what, ulterior, ulterior, no, ulter, ulterior motives when they fix up women because they want that woman to be hand and foot doing whatever that it is it's convenient for that man. Oh, no, you're talking about so, a different type of man. No, what I'm saying is that are we, are we willing to be fair about it? I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this. Most women now, right now, 2021, nurse, all of these girls that's out here calling themselves bad bitches with the wonderful jobs, with the great careers and nurse and all this type of stuff, a lot of them are dating brothers that are that they're fixing. A lot of women right now, a lot of my friends, where the camera at? My friends <laughs> okay. are out here dating men that they gotta help and assist with their life. A lot of us are settling under the table with things we would not, we don't really want right. because of society, because the finance for women is a bit higher, especially in New York City, it's a bit higher. So, so a lot so of So my question stuff, to everybody on this panel would be, how come the people that are established don't 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 deal with each other how come it's always about a fixer upper or a picker upper or whatever how come you can't be worth millions and i'm worth millions and we get together ain't that what jay-z and beyonce did i'm sorry culturally that's a culture why, why, no, why we gotta go all the way to wait. haiti to go find somebody that's humble until they get over wait, there can I, wait, like, hold on. Like, ahead, like, why, why we gotta do that why we can't meet people of our same stack and and, and and the thing is and i'm gonna go with i'm gonna go with what you're saying right see like there's a difference between a hundred, two hundred thousand dollars a year, and two to five million dollars a year. Nice. And with that type, when we're talking about like super successful people, like you know the actual rich people, money brings an attitude and an ego into a person, whether you are a man or you're a woman. Absolutely. And okay. the problem is a man, and, and see, and unfortunate ladies, unfortunately ladies, I feel like y'all have the losing end on this because a man could be rich and have the whole world as their oyster. But a woman who is rich will not deal with the little crabs and the little lobsters. They want somebody of that caliber. But a man who is Talk rich, but a man who is rich is not going to tolerate the ego and the attitude that comes with a rich woman. So yeah, unfortunately need the yeah, fixer good. uppers that's why the, the initial the attitude of a chick that live on the lower east side what you yeah about? then then <laughs> deal with you thinking that okay cool what you want to do walk out and buy another condo all right cool then once your ego goes you walk out you buy another condo now we're both single so what i'm going to do is i'm going to get somebody that i know i can depend on that's not going to really leave whenever shit gets tough and a woman who has too many options would walk away this is my opinion this is just my opinion. And this is exactly why your man that was on the boat said mm -hmm. they're going to be single. 
Yeah. Because they are rich and and nine times out of ten, men want women that listen. That's all they want. I'm dancing. The woman in that listen. Don't no no Danny. Wait, I'm wait, going. Wait, I want to hear this. I want to hear this. I want to hear this. Men, I hear this. Men, men want women that listen, and women sometimes, not all the times, with that much success and power will not listen to a man.